What's up guys, welcome to another video of random shit. Um, here I'm working on the water well and I got one of these emergency tire valves uh, by Colby. Um, so I got a leak on uh, my uh, air tank for my water well and I've been doing some research and they say if you install one of these, it stops the leak. Uh, doesn't fix the problem. Um, I think I have a bigger issue, honestly. I think my diaphragm's busted in my air tank, but uh, this is a little temporary fix, and I'm going to show you guys uh, if it works or not. Stand by. All right, so this is my uh, leaking stem right now. Water should not be coming out of this thing. Uh, and you can see it. The pump just kicked on, and it's squirting out. Uh, so I have seen one video of uh, this uh, Colby valve install, but he never really installed it. Um, all he did was kind of depressurize the tank and kind of rotate it to stop the leak. Um, so... I'm going to try and do a video of the uh, before and after, so this is the before, um, <clears throat> and then uh, I'll show y'all uh, the install and see if it holds. Uh, like I said, it's temporary fix, not a, it's not permanent because uh, obviously there's a bigger issue in the tank, so um, yeah, stand by. Alright, so uh, I got the stem off. This is the uh, actual stem right here. Uh, there was a bunch of rubber around it, and I almost got the rubber, but the rubber just kind of fell in there. And um, but there's rubber all around this thing. I just kind of cut away with it with my utility knife and kind of pulled it with the some needle nose pliers. Um, I just need to replace this this valve. I mean this gate right here to you, but I didn't see the pressure. And. Uh, Next, I'm going to try and install that emergency tire valve, Kobe valve, whatever. So right now, I'm just kind of torquing it down. I already stuck it in. It slid in pretty easily. Just got to kind of work it. So right now, I'm just kind of torquing it down, making it sure it's pretty snug. And also, I'm kind of screwing it down enough to where I can fit my cap on top, which is this one. It came with this little cap, and it just kind of just covers it up a little bit, just like that. See if I can fit it on there. Yep, that's good. So I'm gonna try that, and if it leaks, then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten it down some more. No leaks. It worked. Uh, my water uh, well is cutting on and off. I was gonna replace this gauge, but the other gauge didn't fit. Uh, I got it set for 2040. Um, I put about 38 pounds on this. 30. 5 to 38 pounds on this tank. It's recommended to put 2 psi below the start kick on. So it's pretty close. Um, switch is functioning on and off by itself like it's supposed to. And so it looks like it 